Hello everybody, this is streaming in a year for round one of group H and yes this video will conclude round one of the group stage. So up first we will see Shindominus going up against Blood Moon, Dansaurus taking a crack at Red Bean Ice Cream and then our final match will be Dragon Destroyer going up against Asta. So I'm sure you guys, as I said, have been eagerly awaiting your, torn your bouts in this tournament so let's not put it off any longer. Let's go on with our first matchup. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Shin Dominus, we have got the Omega Eel Carcaria. We get the Arcuck of the Arm. Interesting moves, I'll say, but it does stick to the tradition of having Flare Sword, so I can accept it. And backing up the Eel Carcaria, we have the best dinosaur in the tag team matches, the Eel Raptor. I mean, let's face it, it is. Ooh, so Fragonax, so whenever Shin Dominus gets a hit with that Eel Carcaria, this Soro Fragonax will come in and add extra damage. Okay, so I think both our dudes want to... Oh, nope, Shin Dominus when HP is in the red, and Blood Moon when his HP is below half. All right, speak of the devil, in the blue corner for Blood Moon, we've got a T-Rex. I think it's going to have to pull its weight here. I will say, the hope for Blood Moon is if he can kill the, get the Eel Carcaria down to red HP quickly enough and force that Eel Raptor to come in, uh, Blood Moon's got some good attacks. There's Deinonychus as well. There's some good attacks. So I think, yeah. I think if Blood Moon gets some quick aggressive damage, I think it's on. This match could go either way. I mean, yeah, you look at it, and on paper you think, okay, armored dinosaur and a secret dinosaur, you think, okay, yeah, Shin Dominus should win, but I don't know. Oh, I forgot, oh, I, just, I only just realized what terrain we're on, Sunset Beach Field, which favors nobody. So no terrain advantages today. Mm, good start from Shin Dominus. Oh, well, the Volcano Burst will be coming up. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> oh, we're going to see plenty of this if Shin Dominus keeps getting all the hits. Ooh, big crit from Blood Moon coming up. Boosh! Oh, look at that. And well, we're pretty much level packing. Oops, Shin Dominus responding with another hit. It's a neck crusher this time. Boosh. Volcano burst will be... Oh, wait, no, it's not. We're going to see Flare Sword instead, which I think will kill the T-Rex. And now it's all on Deinonychus. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. we got some Meteor Strike happening. Boom, 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 boom. Well, I'll tell you what, Blood Moon's getting big hits. I will say that, he's getting big hits. Lost the T-Rex, but he's getting big hits. <laughs> oh, oh, he killed that. Impressive, and now, now I think Blood Moon's in the driving seat. Because this Eoraptor is fragile. Whereas uh, Deinonychus... Well, it took more damage in that tie there, so ties would probably favour Eoraptor. Another tie. Another tie. I can't. No more ties. Thank you. But that is not good for shit, Dominus. That's a crit. Yeah, you can tell. Look at that. And attack boost as well. Blood move well on top. Oh, and Blood Moon is about the win. Well, I thought this match could go horribly wrong for Blood Moon, but it hasn't. It's actually gone pretty well. And Blood Moon will be going off to a winning start. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you know, a back and forth match there. I think Blood Moon got very big hits off, and I think that made the difference. And obviously, against a dinosaur like Eoraptor, you, any hits will, be, will do damage to it because it's so fragile. That's probably the one weakness of your app, though. But anyway, enough about that matchup. Let's move on to our second matchup, shall we?
Well, this could be an interesting match. We'll see how Dan Soros fares against one of the tournament regulars. Right, in the red corner, for Mr. Soros, we have Sorrel Faganax, of course, because there can't be anything else. This guy has basically replaced Sorrel Faganax Rex. If you remember that guy who used to enter my tournaments but doesn't anymore. This guy's basically replaced him. <laughs> Backing up the Sorrel Faganax, we got the Crown of Soros, and this could be an interesting matchup because both of our companions have secret dinosaurs. And I'm sure as you know by now, secret dinosaurs have terrain advantage on this field. Okay, so Dan wants to swap when HP's in the yellow, which might actually benefit him here, especially on this field. Whereas Red Bean Ice Cream wants to swap when HP's in the red. And as you can see, Red Bean Ice Cream's first dino is a Patrosaurus. So yes, this Apatosaurus will get the first hit in this match, which will be a rock hit for the looks of it. Because of the terrain advantage. Backing up the Apatosaurus, as you can see here, we got the demon herself, it's Paris. Ba -da -ba! <laughs> Just regular Paris, the super counter type version. But do not underestimate that crit. That crit gets activated. After Paris gets hit, it's going to do a serious amount of damage. Right, we'll get the terrain advantage over with first. So as I'm sure you all know, the Apatosaurus gets the first hit. And in fact, Dan might actually be swapping right away, which is might not be good because obviously it'd be two secret dinosaurs, so the terrain advantages will cancel each other out. There's the defense burst coming in there, and elemental power, a strong start from Red Bean Ice Cream. Ooh, a very strong start. A Pathosaurus pressing home his advantage early on. Right, time to swap out the Sorofagonex. Okay, so Dinosaurus does get a hit back, does get the swap in, but I feel like it could be wasted because, as I said, even though the crowd does have terrain advantage, so does the Apatosaurus, so the terrain advantage will cancel each other out. Which means no one gets a free hit and moves are generated like normal. But this is a very strong start from Red Bean Ice Cream. Wow, there's a Patosaurus is mopping up. Okay, well time for the Sorofagonets to come back in. Oh, he is coming back in. And that also means that da Dan Saurus is no longer allowed to swap in this match. Okay, now that the Apatosaurus is in the red, he will be attempt Red Bean Ice Cream will be attempted to swap. It's a tie. Can Dansaurus kill the Apatosaurus? I think this might be info. Oh, it is! Down goes the Apatosaurus. Ooh, does that put Dansaurus in the driving seat? I think it does, because he still has that Kralophosaurus. Which does have terrain advantage now, so it will get a hit on this Paris. Although, is that really a good thing? Because this Paris is counter type. Super counter type. Well, there goes the Sorofagonax. But, as I said, Dansaurus will get the free hit there because of the terrain advantage. Ooh, this has been an enticing match so far. Ooh, has Dansaurus. Oh, wow, I think he might, have, might win this match, actually. Been behind for most of it. Ooh, not yet. Para para getting the crit, getting the hit. And yeah, it's super counter tight, so it does a lot more damage. <laughs> wow, this has been a really tight game. Oh, but has Paris won it? No, this won't be lethal, because obviously the secret dinosaurs have the type of damage. Ooh, it's a tie. Ooh, we're going to have our first draw this map tournament. Nope, Dansaurus is going to win. That's game over for Red Bean Ice Cream. 
and I'd say despite being behind for most of the contest, Dansaurus has won the match. But Red Bean Ice Cream, for all their efforts, will get a losing bonus point because the crowd's HP was in the red. That was a really good contest. See, it wasn't that worth the wait. Right then, on to our final match. And the final two combatants wait in to get their tournaments underway. Right then, the final match of round one of the group stage. Ooh, we're in the Coliseum again. In the red corner. Actually, I think all the matches have been here. Oh, no, the first one's on the beach. Anyway, in the red corner. For Dragon Destroyer, we have the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, featuring in one or two teams in this tournament. Backing it up, we got the Super Duper Trike. This isn't the Stone Cold Orange Triceratops, this is Super Triceratops, the Awaken Mode on 2. Uh, not much to say about the moveset, to be honest. It's just your standard attacking moveset, you know. Nah, like, unimaginative, but there we go. Not everyone can be as creative as... Right then, in the blue corner for Asta, we have the Decreosaurus. I think they used this last time, and it didn't fare too well. We'll see how it fares this time. It does have type advantage over the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, that could be crucial. And well, none of our guys have secret dinosaurs, so terrain advantage isn't a factor. Backing up the Decreosaurus, we've got a Nata Titan. This could be interesting. Nata Titan gets support effects off. It could heal up the Decreosaurus. If the Alpha Acro hits it with a fire move, it won't do much damage. So, it could be an interesting match. We could be in for a chess match here. But that's fine by me, because I love chess. <laughs> Okie dokie, uh, okay, so Asta wants to swap when HP's in the red, Dragon Destroyer in the yellow. Well, when it's below half. Is Asta striking the first hit. Well, I'm sure he wishes this was Water Sword now. <laughs> More damage, but stomping ammo will do. I think the Super Trike might have to pull its weight in this match. Ooh, a crit from the Acro. Boosh! But they say, you look, look at that, not even in the yellow. That was his crit. Well, however, this crit will do a lot more damage. Type advantage proving crucial thus far. He needs to get this. Would ideally like to get a swap out here for this Alpha Acro. Give it a chance to heal up and put the Triceratops in the ring. Ooh, and he does get the swap. So Alpha Acro being saved for another day as the Triceratops comes in. Oh, we're gonna get off a cheap volcano burst first. Okay, that's once. The Awaken Mode could be key here for Dragon Destroyer to get back in this contest. Ooh, the, 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 I forgot what the dinosaur's called. <laughs> the Creosaurus gets the swap. But could that be costly? Because now, this Super Trike gets a free shot at the Anata Titan. Well, it gets a chance to hit it. Oh no! Disaster! Could that be disaster for Asta? A lightning spear with the Awaken Mode I don't think is going to be lethal, but it's going to do significant damage. Yeah. Uh. Ooh, could that have been costly? Oh yeah, I forget the Triceratops got a swap as well because his HP's below half. Okay, maybe even it might not be as bad. I, I forget that the HP half when you use the Awaken Mode. But the Triceratops gets there. Well, it's Dragon Destroyer for the win, is it? Because the Creosaurus will have to get past this Triceratops. Oh, no, you wouldn't swap in the Acro. And, well, we're basically back where we started. Can the Creosaurus finish off Alpha Acro and Triceratops? 
Well, the Acro he might, but the Triceratops, I don't think so, because it's healing up as well. So you got to take into account. So Alpha Acro's not allowed to swap. Ooh, a quick hit there from the Creosaurus to finish off the Acro. Could be crucial, that. Stops the Triceratops healing up too much. Wow, this could be... We're in... This could be tight. One hit from Asta will secure at least a losing bonus point. Can he get it? No! The answer to that is no. And the Dragon Destroyer getting off to the win. Only just, though. Tight game. Tight contest. I, 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 if that, 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 wait, that Lightning Spear, that was the turning point. If you didn't get the hit while in, with, with the Awaken, I think Asta would have won the match. But there we go. Dragon Destroyer getting the win there. The Awaken mode making the difference. And that concludes round one of the group stage. So let's have a look how our group how Group H stands. Well, not well. nothing to separate the top three. N none of our guys got bonus point wins. But they all got off to winning starts. And then we have Red Bean Ice Cream with that l losing bonus point. And then we have Aster and Shindominus at the bottom. Right, let's see who's playing in round two. So round two, we'll see Red Bean Ice Cream going up against Dragon Destroyer. Blood Moon going up against Aster. And then Shindominus taking on Dansaurus. So, yeah. In fact, all of the winners this round will play one of the losers. So, yeah, really open group. Plenty to play for. And, yeah, that's going to it. That's going to be it. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell. Make sure you don't miss out on future tournament videos. Thanks for watching. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. Mm -hmm.